Hello, it's Alton. Here's how I did this jumping shot in the Batman Beyond intro. Uh, I downloaded a Mixamo animation, this kind of looping, falling motion, but the body direction isn't exactly what I was going for in the shot. First of all, he's kind of looking forward instead of falling straight down, and his knees kind of tuck as he moves. So I'm gonna manually go adjust some of the animation and keyframing in this armature that I got from Mixamo. The first thing I'm gonna do, similar to the running shot, is add an empty, parent the armature to the empty, and then also a track two constraint to the camera, also parented to the empty. And that way, uh, moving that empty around moves Batman left to right, but also pans the camera along with him, just keeping everything locked in. Now let's go in and adjust the armature. So select your armature and go into pose mode. And then we are going to, um, down in the visibility tab, set it to in front so all the bones are in front of the mesh so you can see everything. And here are all the keyframes of that armature. So I wanna make him look forward. So I'm gonna take um, you know, either a neck or head bone and just kind of rotate it a little bit so that he is looking more forward instead of straight down. Uh, but first I need to remove all of the keyframes of those bones because um, you know, I could adjust it for this one frame, but if I'm not removing all the keyframes, then it's just gonna be changed for that one frame and the rest of the animation will have him still looking down based on how it came out of Mixamo. So that's pretty easy. You just delete the keyframes and then rotate it and now his head is pointing forward. Next, I kinda wanna make his legs tuck. So I'm gonna go through and just kind of adjust the keyframes throughout. So by selecting a bone, I will see all the keyframes here in my timeline. And then kind of toward the end, I think his legs are in the right position. Before that, I'm just going to kind of delete some keyframes and then adjust the rotation slightly uh, just to give him a little bit more of like a leg tucking action. It is a little bit subtle here, but knowing how to go into an armature and adjust all of the keyframing is super crucial, especially if you do any motion capture data, you always need to go in there and make some fine adjustments. And basically that's what we're doing here, but instead of motion capture data, it's coming out of Mixamo. So now I'm going to add a background to the scene. So I have these images from textures.com that are all extruded and uh, they're saved in my asset browser so I can just drop them in whenever I need them. So I'm gonna take this kind of apartment building uh, and then rotate it and put it into position. Gonna scale it up a little bit. I'm gonna put it right next to him and kind of scale it to the size that he is. So how big would he be if he was on the balcony and then push it back just to have use him as a reference point. With the building in the background, the motion does look a little bit different. So I'm actually gonna bring the building up a little bit closer just to you know, have it whipping by a little bit faster. Another thing to do to really add some life to a building like that is, uh, here is an image also from textures.com of lights on a building and I have it set so all the dark parts are transparent. And then if you take this layer as a plane and just kind of tuck it in, scale it to be about the size of the windows and then uh, tuck it behind some of the geometry like the balcony and stuff, that adds a ton of realism and you don't have to build like a full randomizing window asset or anything like that. This saves a lot of time and you know, this. I usually save this for background stuff, but this shot is, uh, the background is gonna be so blurry with the whip pan anyway that I can kind of get away with this sort of lower res solutions to the background. I'm gonna take all the buildings and emission layers and parent them to another empty. I'm just gonna animate the buildings flying backwards along the y-axis just to make Batman's acceleration forward seem even faster. Depending on how complicated your scene is, uh, this is a quick way just to add some speed and, and intensity to the shot. But if you have you know, a full 3D scene behind them, it might just make more sense to move the camera and the character forward a little faster instead. But either way works.